Today we're making a drink. You I can't it. tell if I got the sweats from the drink or from making the drink because there's a lot of ingredients in this. No, it was really from just this. Yeah, stay tuned and find out. <laughs> Welcome to Cognac Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shaw. I got with me, Ian Andrews. And we're making a cocktail. It's called the Blood in the Water. It's going to be a little complicated, but uh, before we get into that, let's uh, introduce our producer. Oh, yeah. Michael Gusha. Yeah, there you go. He's right there. See his name? Patreon.com slash CMC. If you like our show and you care, you will go there and you will donate at least three dollars. More is better. I've got uh, people, you know, in the chat room like David, who's got like an eighty bill. That's not even a bill, but if it was uh, a month on the show. And all I'm asking from you guys is like three bucks. Three bill. Three bill. A three bill. I'm gonna read Next. these instructions before they get too crazy. All right. So I'm gonna read the instructions. Then I'll give the dosage. This is fucking hard. Okay. So we're gonna use the fishbowl martini glass as specified. Mm -hmm. Start with a single ice cube, which we already have in there. Um, we're gonna add our rums. Our pucker and our sweet and sour mix, which okay. I'll talk about in a second, and stir gently. Then we're going to add a dash of grenadine that should sink to the bottom. Then we're going to add a dash of slow gin over the ice as well. It should float over the other ingredients that we yeah, serve it. So the ingredients are: we got three quarter ounces of pineapple rum, a quarter ounce of po coconut rum, a splash of light rum, which is always a great measurement, one ounce of De Crouper Island Pucker Punch, one ounce of sweet and sour Royal Rose sour mix. Yep. Or sour mix if you make it at home. Yep. Uh, we got uh, Jack and Rudy for our dash grenadine, and we got Plymouth Slow Gin and homemade ice cream. <laughs> and we made it ourselves. We made it ourselves. You want to use this for a splat? Oh, you already got one. Yeah. Well, yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, this stuff, I'm going to have you try. This okay. is new. Well, it's well, available on Awesome Drinks. It's a, a real sour mix, cocktail mixer, fresh and handmade. This is their main main. Ian's been there. Ooh, yeah. Um, I was just there. Yeah, that's true. And he Where was, are they? lived. Come on. I don't know. Okay. Brunswick. Where, where is it from, anyway? Picking up where you're putting down. Well, it's all organic. Does that help? So, I'll try that one. So, it's certified as an... Or oh, Brunswick! Holy crap! It's the only really place I can remember, because it's such a long drive through the cornfields. This is made in Brunswick, Maine, by the Royal Rose Syrups Company. Excuse me. Um, I do have a vested interest because I now sell this. I believe it's like $16 for the 16 ounces on awesomedrinks.com. It's a natural sour mix. So if you're going to the store and you're buying like a big jar of sour mix, not real sour mix. Did you try it? Yep. No. I'm going to try more in a second. Uh, cool. That is basically, read the back. It probably has high fructose corn syrup. Uh, don't break off of this. I realized it was by my feet. Um, high fructose corn syrup. You probably won't see anything. It'll be like weird flavor chemical names, but there won't actually be any product in it. Uh, this, for ingredients, here's a list in order. Organic cane sugar. That's pretty good. Uh, filtered water. It's usually something you need. Pretty safe. Organic lime juice. Safe. Organic lemon juice. Safe. I'm done. Sounds safe. <laughs> I'll be you. Yeah. Over there. But dark. it's not that hard to make. This is true, viewer XYZ. However, people can be lazy. Um, and this is the case in a lot of situations that I've learned uh, out of awesome drinks. One of the things we sell quite more than I thought we would would be um, simple syrup, right? You take water and you take sugar and you boil and you have simple syrup. People still buy simple syrup. I don't know if it's because they need it in a pinch, they want it in their closet. I've used my own simple syrup for some things like purchase it from the store. Um, it does float. Um, so there is a need sometimes for that hand like that just I want it to taste natural but I don't have the freaking time if you get a couple bottles of these and you just leave me in the refrigerator if they're not open yet just put them in the closet and if you need sour mix and a pinch like this and you don't have anything else to do you can just whip it out pour it and then just make it when I get nothing else to do I like to whip it out we know mm -hmm. you should taste mm. <laughs> that's actually a good use of slow gin yeah because it because there's not a lot in there the okay. slowberries are kind of like tart. It tastes like brown sugar. It's, that's an interesting drink, and I'm not ashamed to say I kind of like it. It's, it's, it's a lot sweet. of work. It is a lot of work. Uh, I don't, I mean, that's for the effect. I, mean, I bet you if you just put it all in a shaker and shake it, you're done. I mean, it wouldn't really be called bro blood in the water. It would just be brown. Island Punch Pucker. Oh, yeah, I have before. Yeah. If you're a college kid, oh, you're like, this is awesome. If you're people who've been doing this for a while, you're like, oh, my God. Awful. Why would everybody make this product? This is like, if you don't have this, you can bypass on this recipe. This is a party party thing. No, you need that for this recipe, though. because No, no, pass the recipe altogether. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, it's not that bad. It tastes like you just got raped. <laughs> it tastes like you just got raped by the Kool-Aid, man. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> We're done! We're teaching you how to drink! You That's know, really, really good. Yeah, like gin. Mm. Uh, a little bit, because not a lot of juniper, mm -mm. but a lot of um, almost like a floral gin flavor to it. Yeah. Not but... something you get out of Beefeater traditionally. I like um, this. This could be a good drink.